Hello, my name is Dr. Stephen Bradburn from TopTipBio.com and in this video tutorial I will show you how to fit a regression curve to a selected range of data within PRISM. So sometimes you may want to plot all of the data points on a graph but only fit a regression model to a subset of data. For example, the initial data might have a strange pattern that is difficult to model, such as background signal. But once the system stabilizes, there could be a trend that is easy to model. And this is evident in the example shown on screen. In this pharmacokinetics experiment, it would be difficult to model data between times zero and 10 hours. However, if you look at the data between times 10 and 20 hours, there does seem to be a linear relationship between the plasma concentration and time. So by fitting the model to the second half of the data, it is possible to plot a linear regression line without including the first half of the data within the analysis. As shown on screen, the regression line in red is plotted using data from the second half of the graph. So I'll now show you how I did this within PRISM. To start with, I'm going to select an XY table and graph. I'm going to enter import data into a new table my x values are going to be numbers, and my y values I'm going to enter and plot a single y value for each point. And I'm going to click the create button. I will now paste in data that I've prepared earlier for this tutorial. So this data is from a pharmacokinetic experiment where the x values are time in hours, and the y values are the plasma concentration of a certain drug in nanograms per milliliter. So let's firstly plot a simple line graph of this raw data by clicking on the connected graph sheet, which can be found here on the left hand side. So with the XY graph family selected, I'm going to select the points and connecting line option and then click OK to be taken to the graph. So this is the line graph using the raw data, but analysis of pharmacokinetic data requires a log scale. So firstly, I will need to transform the plasma concentration values to their logarithms. And to do this, I'm going to go back to my data sheet and then I'm going to click the analyze button. And then under transform and normalize, I'm going to click on the transform button. And then I'm going to ensure that my data set is selected. So the data set I want is the plasma concentrations and I'm going to click the OK button. Under the function list, I'm going to ensure that the standard functions option is selected. I'm going to transform my Y values using y equals log y and this will do a log transformation with the base of 10 on the data so i'm going to go to the bottom and click ok to run the transformation and now graphpad will create a separate data sheet containing the log transform data so we still have our x values which remain unchanged which are the time in hours next to this we have the plasma concentrations which are now the logarithms and these are the values here and then there is a note in the bottom right where PRISM will remind you which transformation was performed on this data. And not only that, there's also another graph that's been created using the log transform data. And this is what the graph now looks like. So since this is log transform data, there's a few things we're going to tweak to this graph. The first thing I'm going to do is going to just alter my Y axes to show minor ticks in log form and change the number format to anti-log. So to do this, I'm just going to go to the Farm Axes button at the top, and then I'm going to go to the left Y axis tab. So what I'm going to do is change the number format from decimal to be anti-log, and I'm going to add in nine minor ticks, and I'm going to select the log option since this is log transform data. And I'm going to click the apply button to preview my changes. So now notice on the Y axis, the values are now in anti-log format. And what this means now is the value of 10 marks the axis location where y equaled 1. And 100 marks the axis location where y equaled 2. And there's also minor ticks that have been added in between the major ticks, and these are in the log format. So I'm going to go back to the graph by clicking the OK button. And then another thing I'm going to do is just adjust the y axis title to read log plasma concentration since these are log transform values. You can now see a relationship that's starting to occur from the period of 10 hours onwards. And this relationship between the plasma concentration and time seems to be linear. 
So this is a perfect example where we may want to fit a regression on selected ranges. And in this example, the range that we're interested in is between the hours 10 and 20. So now I'm going to fit the regression on this selected range. So under the analysis ribbon at the top, I'm going to fit a curve with nonlinear regression. In the new window, you need to decide upon an equation to use. And there are many to pick from, but since we are interested in the data between times 10 and 20 hours, this looks rather linear. So we will select the straight line option in this example. And this can be found under the lines header, and then the first option, straight line. So the next thing I'm going to do is go to the range tab at the top. And it is here that you can tell PRISM what range of data to include in the regression analysis. Under the ignore points outside of specified range header, there are two options. The first is where you don't want to fit points when x is less than a certain value. So if x equals 2, all the values that are less than 2 in the data set will not be included. On the other hand, the second option is where you don't want to fit points when x is greater than a certain value. So in our example, x is the time in hours. So remember me saying we want to fit our regression analysis to those points that are greater than 10. So what I want to do in this example is enable the first option and enter the value of 10. This way, any points less than 10 will be ignored in the analysis. Underneath, in the define the curve area, here you can choose where the curve should begin and end and how many equally spaced points define the curve. For the purposes of this example, I will leave this option as default. So this will define the starting point of the curve as the minimum x value, which in this case will be 10, and the end point of the curve as the maximum x value, which will be 20. So I'll click the OK button to run the analysis. So now you can see a linear regression line has been plotted on the graph, and this line is only present between the hours 10 and 20. To make the line stand out a bit more, I will change the color of it by double clicking on the line to open up the format graph options. And then underneath, I'm going to change my line to be a red color. And I'm going to click the OK button. So now the line stands out a bit more against the data points. If you are also interested in the results of the regression analysis, PRISM also creates a separate table of results for the regression analysis, which can be found here. And here you'll find information such as the slope, which is negative 0 0.1360 in this case, as well as the goodness of fit, such as the R squared value, which is 0 0.9755. So in this video tutorial, you have learned how to fit a regression curve to a selected range of data within PRISM. And fitting a selected range of data is useful when you want to plot all of the data points on a graph, but only fit a regression model to a subset of that data. And this is particularly useful in experiments that contain noise at the start of the experiment, but have a stabilized system thereafter. Did you like this video? Be sure to give it a like or leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to be notified when a new video is added.